One Gold Star father is calling for more transparency about what happened that day. Understandably, Darren Hoover's son, Staff Sergeant Darren Taylor Hoover, was one of the 13 Americans killed during the withdrawal from Afghanistan and that suicide bombing. Hoover had strong words for the Biden administration during a congressional forum earlier this month. Do what our son did. Be a grown ass man. Admit to your mistakes. Learn from them so that this doesn't happen ever, ever again. You all need to resign immediately. Our sons and daughters have more integrity in their little toes than every one of them combined. Gold Star Father Darren Hoover joins us now. Um, thank you so much, sir, for being with us. I'm sorry to meet you under these circumstances. And I have to ask your reaction to these revelations that the intelligence agencies knew exactly where ISIS-K was plotting the attack and still did nothing to stop it. Thank you. First of all, thank you for having me. Um, you know, that's the frustrating part. We're finding out all of these different tidbits of information and it's coming out in a in a slow drip drip kind of way. And it's, it's infuriating, frankly, that they actually had three opportunities to take out that bomber or the cell that was working on it and didn't take the opportunity to do it. And look, we've got 45 injured of our, our military and obviously our 13 that were killed. And it's just, this kind of stuff can't continue to happen. I mean, going from war to war to war that we have gone, and this is the best that we could do, this is the best that we could come up with, for those failures, wherever that may be, and that's part of, of what we're trying to do and trying to come to is where those failures happened and why they happened at whichever level, whether it was on the ground, whether it was in the White House. I, I don't understand. You said that you got a call earlier this year from the Marines telling you it happened in the spring that the plotter, the ISIS-K plotter of that suicide bombing had been killed. What did they tell you on that phone call? Uh, that was very limited. And I, by limited, I mean just a tiny amount. Just stating that, yes, he had been killed and that we didn't do it, but that another country had done it. Well, actually, the Taliban had done it. Um, and that was basically it. I asked for more information they gave me nothing and that came from the marine corps and i mean i asked five or six questions and they couldn't give me any answers what is it you still want answers to what are i know that you and many of the other gold star families have been calling for more accountability and transparency there has been you know there have been investigations from the white house from the pentagon from the state department two of those three reports have been made public what is it you still aren't hearing and that you need to hear? So we're looking for justice, absolute justice. So the things that we're looking for is where the breakdown was. Who was in charge? Was it the Department of Defense? Was it the State Department? Was it the White House? You know, we've got boots on the ground telling them exactly what's going on and it's being denied at whatever level it was you've got the the two potential targeting of that cell or that bomber plus you've got a third one where the bomber was in the sights of that uh uh sniper yeah the scout sniper asked, asked for permission to take him out and that Lieutenant Colonel couldn't give him the information and refused to even get back to him. And if he could have been taken out, why wasn't he taken out? Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.